Hi, I'm Toby from the Esri Australia Solutions team. Today, I'm going to show you how to work with your GIS data in virtual reality using the City Engine product. We'll start off by taking a look at a VR app I made of an area in Canberra. Then we'll take a look at different VR scenarios. And finally, I'll show you how to make a VR model in City Engine. Right now, I'm in the ArcGIS 360 VR app accessed from my Samsung device. The project I have open is my Northbourne Avenue demo, which shows an area of Canberra where the new light rail is going to be located. As you can see, I have a bird's eye view of my region of interest and I can turn to look around. From here, I can see 3D buildings and trees I modelled using the PSMA Geoscape dataset. The features have all been modelled based on their attributes, so they are the same height and shape as they are in the Geoscape dataset. In the VR app, I can teleport to other viewpoints. So now I am going to the street level to see what this scene looks like from the point of view of a person on the street. Here you can see I have added people's street lights and bus stops. Trees are modelled based on the heights in Geoscape, and I have used Australian tree species such as eucalyptus to give an idea of what the area may look like. You can see the surface imagery is high resolution. I imported this from the ACT government aerial imagery collection. So, the ArcGIS 360 VR app allows you to quickly immerse yourself into 3D city models by teleporting to static viewpoints and comparing different urban design scenarios which we'll take a look at later. These VR experiences can be easily created with City Engine and are hosted on ArcGIS Online. Using City Engine, you can export models as Autodesk files, which can be imported into the HTC Vive via Unity. There are many projects you can work on in virtual reality, such as comparing different urban planning scenarios including sun shadow and visibility impacts of a new development. You can see in this example how this proposed development makes a significant impact on the local park because the extra height blocks out the sun. The impact is much more obvious in virtual reality rather than in a map because it feels like you are actually there. VR can also be used for more simple proposed development scenarios such as the installation of solar panels and another example is this utilities project, where you can toggle the road surface layers to look at the subsurface infrastructure. By viewing this in virtual reality, I have a good understanding on where the infrastructure is. So if I was going to work on this site, I could prepare by simulating the removal of a road surface using a VR app. You can also use VR for really important scenarios, such as checking out your seat view in a stadium, or to see what it feels like to stand in the center of the pitch. My VR model for Canberra was created using City Engine. This program is used to transform 2D GIS data into smart 3D city models. This software is so powerful, it has been used to create highly detailed cities for Disney's Zootopia and Pixar's Cars 2. In City Engine, I can use the attributes from Geoscape to style the 3D buildings. For example, I've used the height values to set the height of the buildings and the zoning to set the appearance of the buildings, in this case, residential. This will automatically set the appearance of my buildings using random textures from a residential library. In this example, I have manually set the roof texture to be ceramic because this looks like the buildings in that area in real life. The Geoscape dataset also includes data for trees. I can use this data to populate trees in City Engine using Australian species such as eucalyptus and Australian pine. In addition to using a baseline dataset, I can also add my own trees manually. I want to see what trees might look like when planted along the light rail route, so I have added them simply by dragging and dropping them. I can then move, rotate and scale the 3D tree model. 
In City Engine, I can supplement my Geoscape data with other feature data. So you can see I added models for cars, buses, bus stops, and streetlights. These models are all included in City Engine, and you can add your own models too. I can prepare my city model for VR export by creating different viewpoints. I do this by setting a view and then bookmarking it. This is used to teleport around my VR model. Once I've made my model, I can export it into a VR model from the main menu. I can set options for my VR experience by choosing viewpoints and layers for different scenarios. When I click finish, the file will be stored in my models folder. I can then share this file in ArcGIS Online and access it in ArcGIS 360 VR. So there you have it. You can see how you can export your GIS into virtual reality using City Engine to gain a unique perspective and compare planning scenarios.